Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you my curly hair routine using no gel. I've tried this in the past, but I wasn't happy with the results, so I decided to try it again using different products, and this time I'm in love. Let's get started. So I'm starting on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair that I've separated into four sections. Before I started filming, I detangled my hair and used a little bit of this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner as a leave-in throughout each of my sections. Starting on my back section, I'm spritzing my hair with some aloe vera juice and I'm detangling. Next, I'm using a generous amount of my Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. I love this product because it not only provides moisture to my hair, but it also has some hold to it, which I'm going to need since I'm not using any gel. So I'm smoothing that through my section from roots to tips, making sure all of my strands are coated. After that, I grabbed the Mixed Chicks Curl Sculptor. This was my first time using this product and I'm obsessed. It's extremely watery, which surprised me, but I would describe it as a hair lotion or a light cream with a serum or something like that mixed in, which makes it thin in consistency. Products with this consistency are hard to find, but my curls love thinner products like this, as opposed to thicker creams or butters, which tend to weigh my hair down. So I'm just smoothing that through my section from roots to tips, and then I'm moving to my side section and repeating the steps. I'm spritzing my section with aloe vera juice, detangling, applying the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner, and then applying the Mixed Chicks Curl Sculptor, And after that side is done, I repeat the same steps on my other side section. After that side's done, I move on to my top section and split it into two so that I can have more control over the hair and I repeat the steps again. I usually don't style my wash and goes with a defined part. I like to just let my hair fall wherever it wants as it dries, but if you wanted to part your hair, now would be the time to do it so that your hair will dry in the direction that you want it to fall. Okay, so all of my hair is coated with my products. So now I'm gonna grab my blow dryer with my Diva Fuser attachment and dry and diffuse my curls. I always start by lifting and drying at the roots first since they always take the longest to get dry. Lifting at the roots also gives a little bit of extra volume that I don't get naturally since I have fine hair. After my curls are all dry, I switch to the cool setting on my blow dryer to close the hair shaft and set my curls. Now this step is optional. I'm gently splitting my hair down the middle and I'm using a few hair ties to do the banding method. Doing this will help to elongate and stretch my curls a little bit. I have a more detailed tutorial on the banding method, so I'll link it down below in the description. You can do more than two sections if needed, or you can do a pineapple to stretch your hair, or you can just skip this entire step altogether. While my curls were stretching, I smoothed my edges down, and then I left my hair like this for about 15 minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these hair ties out. I'm making sure to do this carefully so that I don't create any excess frizz and then we can start fluffing.
I put a little bit of argan oil on my hands and fingers and I'm going to start fluffing and lifting my hair at the root. While I still had a little bit of oil on my fingers, I also went through and separated some of the super chunky curls. Next, I grab my hair pick and fluff the roots even more. You could also use a wide tooth comb to do this or you could just continue using your hands. I always spend a lot of time fluffing because I love big hair and while I have a lot of curls on my head, my hair is very fine and it doesn't have a lot of volume naturally. So I have to get in there and create the volume. As you can see, these products did a great job of defining my curls while still allowing me to get some volume. I didn't do a full review of these products in this video, but I've used the Mixed Chicks Leave-In before and I've always loved it. And now that I know that I'm obsessed with the Curl Sculptor as well, I'll definitely be repurchasing both of these when I run out. So that's my curly hair routine using no gel. Give this product combination a try on your hair and until next time, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!